Hi everyone, it's Kate here and welcome to this tutorial. So this tutorial was for my Patreon and you can find the full version there. And the photo for this reference that I used is from Pixabay, but you can also download it from my Patreon. So I'm using the sandpaper 800 grit as usual. And this time I did not add any background because I will be covering the part where my drawing actually is going to be with quite a heavy layer of pastel. And remember that sandpaper is not light fast and you should use any other sanded surface like pastel mat or Canson Metal Touch uh, to get a similar result. So here I have my palette ready. So I'm basically using different um, colors for my water and predominantly they're cool, like cool blues. That means that they're closer to the greens. And for my flamingo, I'm using warmer colors. So that kind of creates that beautiful um, contrast between cools and, green, uh, and warms. And for the water, I really like this technique of kind of creating an abstract image of water and here you can see that the colors are kind of exaggerated as well because it's not a realistic piece it's more like an illustration and you can use your artistic license to actually add brighter colors to this so this is my choice for water you can use different um blues or you can even try purples that would be very interesting too or greens but um, I think that blues and pinks look very nice together and if you notice that flamingo it's kind of actually more beige than uh, pink but you will see now that I start doing it so in the beginning I start with the background that is the water that is in the foreground and also behind my flamingo bird and closer towards me I am adding darker shades of blue and also some a bit a bit of that warmer blue as well and by moving with my pastel on it on the side i am creating these abstract kind of um shapes abstract blobs of color that together look like ripples on the water so when i was looking at the reference photo i really liked those kind of layers in the surface of the water and this is something that i wanted to show in this piece then I am adding some violets in the background and also some um, kind of grayed down uh, greens just to give the impression that there's something might be reflecting in the surface of the water. And then I am also adding some of that pale beige that I will be using for the bird into the water itself just to kind of tie the two together. And when I start uh, the piece, I usually start from the background because it's going to be a lot easier to add the object on top of it. And I don't have to worry that I can smudge my um, protagonist of the image uh, when adding background. And I'm starting with the mid-tone values on my flamingo. So those are kind of uh, pale pink. And then I'm adding more yellowish beige for the lightest bit. I will be also using a bit of that white and I just wanted to try out this um, kind of glowing effect. I really like how it looks, especially when you're drawing glass or metal that is shiny. You can add that little tiny highlight with white and smudge it slightly so it creates that kind of effect of the thing glowing. And here I am adding some blues also into the shadow under the flamingo. As the water should be reflecting into our image in the reference photo is just kind of dark gray but as we are artists and we want to add color everywhere so i'm adding blues into the shadow of my flamingo and also some of those red accents just very 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 tiny red accents just to show that the flamingo has this red color in him as well and i'm also adding some of those grays in uh, places just to kind of dial down the pinkiness of the flamingo so he doesn't look boiled and then I'm also correcting the shapes with a pencil. When the bird is ready I also add that beak with uh, black or you can also use a very dark gray but it doesn't actually matter here that much because as I said I wanted to go with kind of an illustration approach to this piece and it doesn't have to be completely realistic. And in the reflection, I will be adding the same colors that I used in my bird, but pay attention to how I'm putting those reflection uh, strokes. They're all horizontal. If in the bird I was adding my strokes in the movement of the growth of its feathers, then in the water, all of my movements are horizontal. And here also the pencils work 
quite handy because I could get into those tiny details like the shadows on the legs and actually get them uh, as thin as I actually had planned to do them. Otherwise, his legs would look like elephant's legs if I were to use soft pastels, so they would be too thick. And in the reflection, I am also adding water over the top of the color of the bird so that it kind of creates those ripples um, in the water that go through the reflection as well. So you don't have to draw perfect reflection of the flamingo in the water. It can be um, slightly distorted. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really um, love posting tutorial videos and if you do like this video and if you'd like to try out your flamingo, do post it online and I would like to see it. So do tag me if you post it on Instagram or maybe on my Patreon page. And as I said on my Patreon, I also have the full um, tutorial for this one and many other tutorials as well. And for now, I have to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the future tutorials. Bye.